Welcome to Noiseville. No I'm... way, well, I'm going to do it this time. <laughs> you always introduce us. Welcome to Noiseville. I'm David Olfick and this is... Ellie Telepian. Coming up on the show, David heads down to New Haven for Festival of Sound. I do. You're going to chat to Phil Nye from Brighton Unsigned yeah. about his ones to watch out for in the local area. Yes, and we go to B -b 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 Breakout Festival. Breakout Festival. <laughs> Okay, and also you're going to chat to JP Omari, a local sort of dance uh, legend, dance teacher, who's hopefully going to tell you how, to, how you can get funky and fit at the same time. And bust some grooves for me, yeah. that's what I'm after. Let's hope so. <laughs> but of course we've got a little bit of noise real news for you. I'm going to kick it off, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this feeling. Tell Ellie. me, tell me. I know, What's I need to get this off you? my chest. I'm going to yeah. tell you a bit about okay, this feeling. I'm here. Um, it's a craze that's been sweeping the country and it's now found its home at Brighton's uh, Hope and Ruin. It's billed as the UK's most rock and roll night out. Um, it's even been endorsed by Noel Gallagher, who okay. reckons it's a great place to see rock and roll. Hey. Um, it, hey, yeah, it's great for rock and roll. Uh, it's free live bands. <laughs> that was really bad. It's free live bands every every night. Um, DJs till 3 a.m. It's on the first Saturday of every month and it only costs four quid. Four pounds. Four pounds. <gasps> Different to that, it's four pounds. Um, so far, Brighton bands that have been on the bill include Jolter and Racetrack Gospel. If you want to check it out in November, it's on the 7th of November at the Hope and Ruin and the Mantras will be performing. And we do hope that we're going to get the guy who runs the event, Mike, uh, to come down on the show and just tell us a little bit about why he decided to set a rock night up in Brighton when it had already been so successful like all over the country. Wicked. And let's get down there ourselves. Oh, we should. <laughs> David, guess what? <laughs> what? There's another festival in Brighton soon. Oh, another? <laughs> another. Uh, Mutations Festival is coming to Brighton, or um, well, will be in Brighton, 28th, 29th of November. It's £50 per ticket, okay. which you can buy from Sea Tickets or Resident. It's a, as I say, multi-venue, uh, ranging from the Bees Mouse to All Saints Church to the Concord, Green Door Store. There's a real mixed bag patterns. of performers. Yeah, patterns. 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 It's all down patterns. <laughs> um, and there's a Lightning Bolt, Met, John Talabot, uh, Josh Pearson, Om, Chelsea Wolf, Ort, Jane Weave, loads of different people. Um, yeah, and yeah. that's just a few. So it's pretty breakthrough, it's quite eclectic as the well. The list was like this. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a two day, one day? Um, it's 28th to 29th. Oh, so it's Take two days. Take that what you will. Yeah, two, two days, days yeah, yeah, probably, yeah, one, two. My maths um, is not the greatest, but. Uh, so good. hopefully we can head down there. Yeah. Take these guys. Get on blower. We'll have a good time. Get on blower to mutations. Yeah. Get, yeah. Us, get ourselves yeah. invited. Right, brilliant. Let's we can do bring that. you some highlights. Can't but we? get your tickets because it sounds and looks like it's going to be awesome. So get some tickets to that. Yeah. And there's not much else to do in November. No. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I've got a couple of bits of release news for you. Uh, Kovac, if you like your uh, your pop kind of Scissor Sisters esque yeah, bubblegum pop, uh, it, they've released finally six years since their first album. They've released their second album, Modern Lovers. Um, it's got a couple of their sort of singles that have been kind of doing the rounds for the last year or two, uh, but now it's all on an album, their second second album, Modern Lovers, six years in the making, and uh, yeah, looking forward to hearing all of that. And The Fiction Isle um, have announced the release of their first album, Stroke EP. Um, they're kind of a grandiose, sun-kissed, jazzy pop collective. Um, they're, they're made up of like 13 people, mm -hmm. two of which wow. are Tom White from Electric Soft Parade, yeah, yeah and Adam Kidd from Fragile Creatures. So um, so yeah, they're involved, so it's good, it can't be bad. And Heart Map, Heart Map Rubric is the name of the album and it's released on the 27th of November. I'm, for one, certainly looking forward to that because uh, I really like the sound of their first uh, release, Blue, which okay. is up on their SoundCloud if you want to check it out. Sounds good, right. Now let's head over to you at Festival of Sound. Let's do that. <laughs> Now, I with Dean, who conceptualised, came up with, however you want to put it, you, you, you made New Haven's Festival of Sound. Uh, tell us all about how that got going, mate. Well, uh, it's such a unique venue, and it's, it was just being wasted. Nobody was doing anything with it. Um, you know, I have a lot of school children and stuff up here, but I, I wanted something different. Um, so I come up with this mad idea to put five stages up here of just completely different types of music so that everybody can go and listen to something that perhaps they wouldn't go and listen to, you know, or, or even heard of. Um, we had a successful trial last year um, with 400 people. And uh, this year we've upped that to a, to a thousand tickets. They've, they've gone very, very well. I mean, there's still a few left, but it's, a, it's in its infancy. So, you know, to be expected. I've just run into a couple of old school ravers. Uh, Morph and Risky, how's it going, guys? Yeah, good, good. Yeah, yeah, good time. 
Good, good. Uh, you're, you've set up the uh, the party that's happening in the magazine, the Grand Magazine yep. at New Haven 4. Uh, what, what can people, what's in store for people today? Uh, basically, we've got uh, a whole list of DJs that uh, are basically from South Star Radio. Um, we're the drum and bass, there's Tech House, Techno. We've got uh, some breaks in there as well, some Acid House. So just across the board, we just basically we want to do uh, everything that dance music can offer. Hey, look who I found, it's Therapy Brighton at New Haven Festival of Sound. How are you going, man? Yeah, really, really good. It's uh, our second time back here. We've uh, been upgraded to a bigger stage. Again, it's a lovely weather. It's uh, September's been kind to us, so yeah. Two years running, very kind. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They thought the rain was going to come, but the sun gods have come out today, which is good. So. So what can people be expecting from your Therapy Brighton stage for this year? Yeah, so um, although it's Therapy Brighton, we partnered with Code South this year to uh, kind of bring something a bit different. So um, we've got all kinds of styles actually, anything from sort of, you know, house, nice sort of like good warm up stuff through to uh, drum and bass, uh, some like electro swing. And, stuff. and have you been, has is, is that given you uh, sort of uh, uh, an open door to do some visual stuff in there as well? I saw smoke billowing out of the door earlier. I thought there was maybe a fire, but I guess there's just smoke machines going on. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with, with, with a club, you get what's in the club bar a little bit, whereas here you can design your own room. So it's like, right, we'll have lasers there, scanners there, sound system there, you know, it's custom design, so it's much nicer, yeah. You've, you've got anything from country rock, to punk, to drum and bass, to trance, to it's all here. It's just all here. <laughs> so it's something for everyone. And uh, and tell us a little bit about people who haven't been here. Tell us a little bit about sort of the setup here, because there's all sorts of tunnels and there's DJs in sort of in down little back alley tunnel things. So, I mean, I tell you what, just describe it in your own words, just what people can expect if they come here. World War One and World War Two tunnels and gun emplacements turned into nightclubs. Um, old Romney Hut buildings turned into main stages full of lasers and moving heads and sound equipment that's far excessive than what's currently needed, <laughs> basically, you know. But why not? But yeah, we can, so that's what we do. <laughs> Maya Wolf, it's been a little while, how are you doing? It's been like a year, I'm doing really well, how are you? Yeah, I'm very, very well. Uh, you're doing a little uh, set with Therapy Later, they're your DJs, you're doing some live stuff, so tell us a little bit about your act. So I've been DJing with um, Ash Lomas from Therapy for a while now. We're getting more and more gigs booked in and we've got a nice set figured out that is kind of mainly house. Some of it is a bit more progressive, then it goes into deep, then it goes a bit more bassy. We've even got a drum and bass track now, so it's like all kind of electronic genres that mix really well together. Brilliant. So anyone watching this didn't come down, obviously missed it. Uh, beautiful day and all that. Um, yeah, a bit breezy, but a beautiful day. But um, if they want to find out more about, well, perhaps see some photos and things from, from what happened this year and come down next year, where can they find out more info? Well, we've got uh, the Facebook page, Festival of Sound Facebook page, and the website, uh, www.festival slash of slash sound uk I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Dean. Have a, great, have a great evening. I hope it all goes swimmingly, and we'll see you again next year. Okay, brilliant. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Hello, it's Phil from Brian Unsigned and I'm back again to basically put a couple of bands your way that I think you should check out. First band I have for you, King Leviathan. Now these guys are a four piece thrash metal band. I call them the Lion King Project and they don't like that actually, <laughs> but they've got good sense of humour. Now this type of music, quite frankly, I don't actually like, but it doesn't matter that I don't like this type of music because the reason I'm telling you about these guys is that they are extremely good at what they do. They are fantastic. They are a tour de force and the music and the energy that comes out of these guys is well worth you watching. Yeah, so I have listened to them. Thank you for your recommendation. Like you say, not my thing, but I love the fact that they are really brilliant, aren't they? They are very good at what they do. I found the video a little bit uncomfortable to watch. Yes. Uh, but it does suit the music, doesn't it? So it's all very much appropriate to their sound, the lyrics and what they're saying yeah. and stuff like that. They're part of a thing called Mammoth Fest. Now, Mammoth Fest is uh, set up by a guy called Steve Dixon, and it's a collective of around about 80 heavy metal bands that are touring the whole country. And to get on Mammoth Fest, you have to be very, very good. And these guys have managed to get on there. So they are gonna make it big. Who have you got next? Duncan Disorderly and the Scallywags. <laughs> now, 
I saw these guys that paddle around the pier the other week and I was sitting there with my brother and my yeah. other half and I went down to go and see another band. And then the next band came on, I turned around to my brother and said, who's on? He said, I said, Duncan Disorder and the Scallybags. I reckon they're gonna be rubbish, right? <laughs> and with that, these guys got off of the grass and sitting next to me and it was then. So I thought, that's, that's not too good. But then they went on stage and within about two minutes of their first song, they changed the whole atmosphere of the crowd. And she said, follow me. Well, I'll show you the lights in the dark side. Well, in the dead of... It's like gypsy jazz, there's a bit of funk, there's a bit of reggae, a bit of ska, and they're lovely. Yes. Their songs are nuts, absolute nuts. But I highly recommend them. Brighton Band, also a bit of Lewis based as well. Like, I, I really liked them. I think they're easy listening and they're definitely somebody that I'm going to be switch, switched on to now. Yeah. On YouTube, there's a, a video. It goes on for about 32 minutes. It's almost like a documentary then going around Europe. Watch it because you'll just be so chilled out at the end of it. It's brilliant, <laughs> honestly. That sounds brilliant. Right, we look forward to having you back on the show really? next month. Really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. This is The Chemist and you're watching B Music at Breakout Festival 2015. of the best way to dance slash move to your music. Oh. I want you to demonstrate this. I, I think it's a little bit like art. It's subjective. Like art. <laughs> so everyone's got their own interpretation. Dramatic dance moves. Yeah. yeah. Come on then. It's... If you've all got your own interpretations. We're usually playing, so we're not dancing to it yeah. in general. Yeah, Come on. We, we tend to, like, the snare drum's quite loud in our music, and the music's really fast, so you've got a... You got a nod at a certain the finger. speed. No, no, it's like the oh, it's a lot of nodding on the snare drum. It's a lot of nodding. Yeah. Uh, that happens. Sometimes twice as fast. Yeah. Only one is two I'm limited. You're on a little bit of a funky groove. Yeah. Exactly. Welcome to something new. <laughs> something new. I'm a dude with some other dudes. And um, what are you guys up to in Access to Music at the moment? Like, how are they uh, helping you and supporting you guys with this? Well, they gave us today. They gave us this set, and then you know they they love us as well. They're great for promoting us and like on Facebook and stuff. They love us, man. Uh, yeah, Anna as well. Anna's awesome. She's like she's promoted us a lot. She's yeah, she's just wicked. So you guys had a good time. Yeah. Um, have you guys got anything coming up that you can tell the public about? Any songs, EPs, or albums uh, that you're working on? We have an EP coming out next year. But don't ask me for a, like an actual date. But next year, next year. Sometime next year, yeah. we'll have a release. Get in the studio before the end of the year, hopefully, if we can be bothered. Well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> well yeah, that's the way it is. We are here by definition at Breakout Festival. You guys performed earlier. How did it all go? Did you enjoy yourselves? Yeah, it was great. Uh, Love yeah, the nodding. That's it, yeah. yeah. No, it was a fantastic crowd out there. Like, the sound was great. Like, we had, yeah, uh, yeah really felt it today. Yeah, it was great. Fantastic. Good. And, like, as a local Brighton band as well, what do small festivals like this mean to you? Obviously, out of ease, it's great. Yeah. But... Well, it's, it's, it's great that, um, that stuff like this is happening in our hometown, obviously. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, it's, uh, yeah, as you say, it's easier to get to for us, but it's just, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but no, it's great for the Brighton scene. It's great, it, it's great that it's happening. And, uh, I, yeah, Seems I you guys there's more of stuff, I guess. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well. Just, to, yeah, just hope there's more of it. <laughs> be nice. Hi, we are the Gospel Youth, and you're watching the music, the Gospel Youth. <laughs> How was it going for you guys? Yeah, really good. Uh, really fun. Well, yeah, uh, it's a great festival, really good vibes. The audience was uh, really nice and people singing along. It was really good, yeah. It must feel fun. good to hear the crowd saying your words back to you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's Brilliant. really nice. Like, people are Brilliant. actually listening to it. Yeah, it's wicked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have been pretty busy with you. You've already played with Def Havana um, in Plymouth and Oxford, as you said. So it's probably going to be good for you guys to get back on stage with them. Obviously, you were their headliner's choice. Yeah. It's quite a 
but that feels good as well. Yeah, it felt really good. Like, really, really, uh, we can't thank them enough for choosing us to play. It was, uh, came as a bit of a surprise, really. We didn't kind of expect to get anywhere with it, but... Uh, it's always yeah. nice to hear. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it was awesome. But, uh, Brilliant. You guys recently dropped your EP, Empires, is it? What's the, uh, what's the reaction with that? How did that come about? What was the release like? Been all right, yes. It's, <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's just, it wasn't bad, it wasn't great, but yeah, we're, we're really happy with the songs. We've been sitting on them for knows how long, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been good. It's just been, yeah, it's taken a long time to do. It's just great to uh, people to actually finally hear it. But, um, I'm not going to lie, I was bobbing along yesterday while I was researching you guys. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, pretty easy to listen to music. Um, yeah, yeah, I like it. It's good. Thanks, man. Um, well, everyone else did too, apparently. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Evidently. Well, yeah. <laughs> Like, we literally uh, we self recorded it all, so it took quite a bit of time. Jules. I know the pain. He's practically a wizard. Um, yeah. So Seven hours a day. Oh, uh, more than that. Listening to the same 20 seconds. Yeah. No, it's good that you produced it but yourself. Yes, it's, it's been amazing. Like, we, we kind of put it out there as more of a, I guess, like a timeline to like, like my story from a lyric point of view. Yeah. And um, the fact that people have listened to it, the fact that people have bought it, it's just been incredible. We weren't expecting anything, so it's really, really cool. Um, you've had quite a busy summer as well, so what has been your highlight? There's been multiple highlights. Um, I mean, just, highlights? just before uh, the summer, we went off with Corn um, yeah. around Europe for that kind of five, six days, mental. which was amazing. We did a UK tour up and down the UK as well, which was amazing. Had some great, great shows. Yeah. Um, download set. Download. 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 I think download's yeah. pretty much always going to be like your peak, yeah. isn't it? I thought I'd kind of bring you up yeah. level by so, level. So, like, we did a few things yeah. and then download. The Achievement yeah. stairs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> download was one of those ones that we hadn't ever played. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Want to go back to the biggest stage then? Yeah. yeah. Main stage. Headline. Yeah. Oh, we got <laughs> main stage headline. Arnold Schwarzenegger shared our tune on his Facebook page. That's incredible. Well, really, really <laughs> cool. That's so got a download. Yeah. That that is that your was, biggest that achievement that ever. Anything else we just said? He there. said <laughs> it, it was a it was a trailer for um, Terminator Genesis with our music on it, and he said right. I edited this one myself yeah. <laughs> and put it up, and it had the chemist run you, which is our new single. So. That's incredible. Cool. Like it, that needs to go like top of your biography ever. Yeah. It's been a long time coming, but the new single is about to drop. The video's cool. done. The mix is there. People are responding well to it. Arnold Schwarzenegger shared it. So I it mean, yeah, right. that's all you need, really, isn't it? Well, I was on the rugby as well yesterday before the rugby game, World Cup game. So nice. Millions of people have heard it. They have no idea what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't find it anywhere. What is this song? If I spoke to you guys in a year from now. What do you hope to have happened? Where do you want that your band to be? Um, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Rich beyond belief. But, um, <laughs> that's it. So yeah. So yeah. When you see us next year, and we've got suits made out of fifty pound notes, you know we'll. Uh, we'll oh, make you're just walking around like this. Oh, exactly. Making it. Is there any other way to walk around? I mean. <laughs> no, there isn't. Um, and finally, have you got a message for the breakout viewers who may have caught your set earlier? <laughs> uh, well, if you, if you call the set, thanks for coming down. Thanks for the response. It was absolutely amazing. We can't get enough of it, and we hope you'll come and see us soon. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks a lot. I am here with JP Omari, who Hello. is a uh, funk master, b-boy, hip-hop dancer, and teacher. Yes, correct. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Finding you. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. And you, you are here to talk about... Funk Fit. Funk Fit? Yeah. Yes. Tell me about it. It's basically a uh, dance fitness. Uh, class and um, we dance to um, funk music, Motown music, disco, and yeah. basically just have fun. Okay. It's, yeah, that's the main. That's the main thing. And why did you set it up? Well, I set it up as a mistake, really. I was meant to cover a uh, Zumba class, but I don't listen to Latin music, and the music that I had in my, I well, in my MP3 player on my computer was. Um, funk music and yeah. disco because I'm a b-boy and a street dancer. Yeah, okay. So um, I told the people in the class that I was going to do a dance class to uh, yeah. funk music okay. and that's where it came from. Ah, so yeah. do you use some Zumba moves as well as your own stuff that you've kind of implemented in there? Not or? really, it's more, um, it's based more on the hip-hop grooves. Okay. So uh, all the social dances that pave the way for street dance now. Yeah. 
are in Fang Fit, okay. as well as um, elements of popping, locking, yes. and break dance. Okay, yeah. fantastic. So um, straight up 15. That was a that was a big deal this year yes. for you, wasn't it? Can you tell us a bit about that? Well, I own a street dance um, school together yes. with my wife. We've been operating for around 10 years or oh, so. Wow. Yes, nice. for a long time. And um, every year we have a big show at the um, Brighton Dome. Yeah. And straight up, that's what it's called, straight yeah. up. Okay. And this year we had um, flawless from Britain's Got Talent, they were okay, Britain's Got Talent yeah. the same year as Diversity. Mm -hmm. They came and headlined the show. Cool. And we had 400 of our students perform on that stage as well. Wow. So um, yes, it was a big deal. Wow. We also um, own a um, dance studio complex down at the Brighton Marina called Marina Studios. Wow. So all our fitness classes and street dance classes and everything runs there. Okay. So um, yes, street dance classes for all. And so, what does Funkfit do? Is there is there weight loss or cardio? Kind well, of what, the main what can people thing get out of it apart from having a good time yeah, and dancing with you. Yeah, <laughs> the main thing is dancing and grooving, yeah. and through that you sweat okay. and you lose weight and get okay. fit okay. and get coordinated. So there's various things which are a byproduct of just dancing and having fun. Okay, which is right, you're going to show me some stuff. We're going to get funky, sweaty, I am very Let's uncoordinated. Do it. Okay, <laughs> we'll sort that out. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> cool, you cool. ready? I'm ready. Right. The main, like the basic step in funk fit is the two steps. Okay, so you okay. you step side to side. So stay yeah. with me, you step yeah. forward uh, yeah. on your side, on yeah. your right. Left, yeah. left, right. Okay. One, two, yeah. three. Cool. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> there we go. And then we kind of work it from here. Okay. Okay. But for now, I'm just going to yeah. teach you what I've called the box step. Okay. Here we go. You go right leg forward. Oh, okay. Yeah. Left leg forward. Yeah. Right leg back. Mm -hmm. Left leg back. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Five, six, <laughs> seven, and right, left, right, left. That's He's it. You're doing stuff that's with the arms it. now, yeah. JT. Just, just feel it. Just feel the vibe. <laughs> Here we go. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and there we go. I'm still going. <laughs> yeah. Right, fantastic, cool. Now, if people want to get involved in your classes, I yes. might now, and come along right. to Funk Fit, um, yeah. how would they go about doing that? I've got um, a website for Funk Fit, yeah. which is funkfituk.co.uk, okay. or on Twitter at funkfit. UK. Yeah. We're having lots of fun. Cool. So we want people to come and have fun with us. Brilliant. Sounds yeah. good. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Cheers. <laughs>